This is Yireh Yesharan, and welcome to the Mission of Submission, where we discuss the biblical principles that women should follow if they want successful and functional marriages and families. The things that I teach are the biblical concepts that I follow in my own life that have been proven to work historically. Blessings to everyone watching. It's the mission of submission. Hey! Can't stand it, you stay out the kitchen. According to the Bible, women and children are considered to be spoils of war. I've already explained in past videos that women are considered to be the property of men. So therefore, when one nation of men conquers another nation, they take the property of the nation that they conquered for themselves. This is why the law of the Hebrews states that when the Israelites are fighting against a nation that does not inhabit the land of Canaan, they are to kill all of the men but are to take the spoil or booty for themselves, and women are included in the category of spoils. So, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verses 13 through 14 read, And when the Lord thy God hath delivered it into thine hands, thou shalt smite every male thereof with the edge of the sword. But the women, and the little ones, and the cattle, and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof, shalt thou take unto thyself. And thou shalt eat the spoil, of thine enemies, which the Lord thy God hath given thee." Unquote. As it says here in verse 14, the Israelites are commanded to kill all of the males, but to take the women, children, cattle, and all that is in the city for themselves. In other words, they kill all the males and take all of their property for themselves, which are the spoils of war. The males are the power of a nation, which is why they have to be killed. The females are the most valuable property of the men, which is why they are taken as spoil. In Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 10 through 13, it says, When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and the Lord thy God hath delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and hast a desire unto her that thou wouldest have her to thy wife, then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head, and pare her nails. And she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house, and bewail her father and her mother a full month. And after that thou shalt go in unto her, and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife." Unquote. As we just read here in Deuteronomy chapter 21, when the Israelites go to war with a nation that is outside of the land of Canaan, an individual Israelite man may take an individual woman for himself as a wife if he wants to. He has to bring her to his house and give her a month to mourn the loss of her parents. Then he is to shave her head and pare or cut her nails, which is a part of the process of humbling her and giving her a new beginning. After that, he's allowed to have sex with her and keep her as his wife. This concept of taking women as spoils of war is not unique to the Hebrews. Many other ancient cultures understood this principle and followed this protocol. The women being taken captive eventually capitulate to the will of their captors. As time progresses, these women learn to respect and honor and obey their new husbands. This is why many men today, especially so-called black men, find it difficult to get respect and honor from modern women. This is because Women are hypergamous by nature and instinctively gravitate towards obeying and following whatever group of men are in power. So since the average man works at the same jobs as modern women, makes around the same amount of money as modern women, and is given even less power in society than modern women, modern women don't respect them. The men who are truly in power in our society, such as the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds families, are the ones who funded and promoted feminism, as I've covered in past videos. So that's why women follow feminism. The men who are in power promoted the homosexual agenda. That's why most women support the LGBTQ movement. The men who are in power told women that they were oppressed and that they should be equal to men and should compete with men. So that's why women followed that line of thinking. Again, women are naturally going to capitulate and conform to the will of whatever group of men are in power. As the saying goes, to the victor goes the spoil. Let's briefly take a look at what happened with David and Bathsheba. 
2 Samuel chapter 11, verses 2 through 4 read, And it came to pass in an evening tide that David arose from off his bed and walked upon the roof of the king's house. And from the roof he saw a woman washing herself, and the woman was very beautiful to look upon. And David sent and inquired after the woman. And one said, Is not this Bathsheba the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? And David sent messengers and took her, and she came in unto him, and he lay with her, for she was purified from her uncleanness, and she returned unto her house. Unquote. David was the king of Israel at this time. As we just read, he was walking on the roof of his house, and he was able to see Bathsheba bathing. He liked what he saw, so he called her to come to him, which she did, and then he had sex with her. Now keep in mind that Bathsheba was a married woman, and that this was adultery. But what I want to point out for the purpose of this video is that the Bible does not say that he forced her or that he raped her. He simply had sex with her. Although she had a husband, which was Uriah the Hittite, the truth is that Bathsheba was probably more than happy to have sex with the king because he was the king. Even today you can see that most women want the man that's popular on YouTube or that is a famous rapper or athlete, etc. Women want the man that has status, influence, popularity, notoriety, and of course, money. Most women don't want to be with the guy who no one has ever heard of. So Bathsheba had no problem having sex with and getting pregnant by David. And after David killed her husband Uriah, she continued to be David's wife for the rest of their lives. This is just an example of how women are spoils of war. Because David was more powerful and influential than Uriah, he was able to take his wife without any problem. This is why most men will always have a hard time getting women to submit to them and follow them. A lot of men might think that a particular woman is hard to get, but what you don't realize is that she's in the DMs of the guy she really wants, every day. I see it all the time. You'll see hundreds of so-called regular men vying for a woman's affection on her Facebook page. Meanwhile, she ignores all of those men, and you can find her in the comment section of the popular YouTuber begging for his attention. Men have even tried to talk to women in my comment section, and been ignored. Meanwhile, you see the same woman in the comment section of a popular YouTuber, shooting her shot at him. The modern woman is for the most part the property of the powers that be, and they own her mind, body, and spirit. According to the scriptures, it won't be until the end of time at the return of the Messiah when the Israelite man will once again be placed back into power. Until then, only the very few elect women of the Most High will be able to comprehend and appreciate the value of biblical men. And only these elect women will possess the ability to respect, honor, obey, and help their husbands, which is what the Bible says women were created to do. If you'd like to donate to support the lessons and music on this channel, my cash app is in the description box below this video along with my email for any sister who'd like to contact me directly. You can also visit my website by clicking this link. Sisters can join the chat forum where we discuss biblical submission at this chat forum link. Sisters can also schedule one-on-one -on -one counseling and coaching at this private counseling link. Brothers and sisters are also welcome to visit our online store by clicking this mission store link. Shalom, and thanks for listening.